Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to install the x 6 operating system in uh, Linux. So what you need to do is first of all get all the files from the GIT repository. So here's a GIT repository. I think you can see it clearly now so let's just copy this command and uh, open your terminal and just paste it and run it what the JIT clone is going to do is it's going to fetch all the files in a x x directory in your local system so let it work com let it complete first yeah here we go let's check out See, we have the xv6 folder here. Uh, cd xv6. Check. Wow, we have all the files for the xv6 here. Some. First of all, what you need to do is to understand that you need to fetch all the files in the Linux file system. That is ext4 or ext3, so that Linux we can run the GCC or the G or the Linux command over it. So, and what I need to do is to change the permissions for this folder because I don't want to get the future problem. So let's just change the permission. Ch mode 700 hr xv6 the file name folder name sorry. So a folder path. So chmon 700, I'm going to change it to 700-R and because I have the x 6 here, so I don't need to give the full path, I just need to define the directory. So what it's going to do is to change all of the files in the files, the subdirectories in the x 6 folder. So oh, we have changed the permission. Now again cd to x 6 List the files. Uh, we have a make file which define all the make attributes, which define the rules how to compile the x 6 So it is like g edit m capital f small g edit make file. So we have the permissions. We have the all the. Sorry for that. Best. Okay, we have all the commands and the rules and the regulations all over here in the make file. So here is the thing we want, QMU. So it's basically a emulator. So I already installed QMU in my Linux system. So QMU Nox is going to give no extra window or it's just going to like run like a command line console uh, uh, and one more thing if you get some time error like it does not have predefs dot h or some it's missing some of the binary files it means that because the x 6 is a 32 bit system and i'm using the 64 bit system so it have the chances to um, make you in trouble so what you need to do is to install some of the compatible libraries for it. So here is a command for it, sudo apt-cat install library c dev actually this is just a library for 32-bit mode as well. So run it whenever you want if you get into trouble. Now I'm going to run the make command. See, it's running perfectly fine. Now we have the xv6.img file. Now I'm going to run it in a QEMU. QEMU. Oh, so finally we have it here. QEMU. See, this is just a new window. It's a GUI tool. 
so if you don't want this tool you can also like to make knox as wait a minute let me just check it out Kimonoxa. See, we have a Kimonox. So, make Kimonox. See, it's just a. It, it does not have a GUI. It's just like running like a command console. So, finally, let's get it out of it right now. So, here is your x 6 running. Thank you for watching my video. See you again. Bye-bye.